Hey everyone, welcome back to another video and today it's another suggestions from the comments. He wants us to make a jump scare. So honestly jump scare in Minecraft is a lot harder than you think unless you you can think of some creative jump scare ideas but I really can't think of any and I just thought of this one which requires some command blocks and also it doesn't need any user input so you can just put it and let it run but this if you want to get the person uh but with this you need to get the person when they least expect the jump scare so the first time when you jump scare your friend or whatever person you want to jump scare it will get them quite well if you put this and let it run whenever he is mining or whatever so just get the player when they least expect it so you can hide it underneath a pressure plate in front of the door and it can get them quite well or just some ways to power it or even an ethel clock so an ethel clock is a clock that can so an ethel clock is a clock that has a lot of delay like a few minutes or yeah just a very long delay clock so right now i will get you guys with this jump scare so once we push this button we will immediately get jump scare but of course the effect won't be very strong since you already know that the jump scare is coming when we are gonna push the button but it will be a lot more better if it comes when it least expected so we will turn the volume up so maybe 80% and now I will push this button and we will immediately get jump scared so yeah it's maybe maybe it's it's scary for some of you but it doesn't really have that effect and also with this command block that is here and you powering the command block to activate the jump scare it is best if you turn on the command block output to false so you need to put this command in the chat so what this do is that it won't come up in the chat like this like the teleport proxy to whatever coordinate so you can see that the chat no longer spams the <laughs> so you can see that it no longer spams the chat so I'll do it again so you can see that it's clean and it won't interfere with the view of this jack-o-lantern so it's as easy as that so all you need to do to pull this off is that you'll need to hide the command blocks all of these command blocks and also this room so this room is where we get teleported and actually facing this jack-o-lantern so now let's talk about these command blocks so this command block right here is optional since it is a repeating command block and it tps the player so why we need this on repeat is that so we can see that when we push this button we will keep teleported and keep forcing the player to keep looking at the jack-o-lantern so that is why we need this repeating command block but if you don't want that it's also fine but if you have this it's even better because if your player that you're trying to throw is mining or whatever and when he gets immediately teleported to here and maybe he will start to uh, 
just get scared and move his mouse around and if you keep forcing the player to keep looking at the jack-o-lantern he the player will get spooked out more since when he, he pushes the mouse around he is still facing the jack-o-lantern so it's just a little bit better if you want to prank the player a lot more so this right here is the same as this one and it is the TP command so what this TP command block does is that you can see it TP all players which you don't want so maybe you should put the player that you're trying to troll in here replacing the at a command so you can change that and this right here is where you TP your player so this right here you should put the coordinates of the place where you want to TP your player so you all you need to do is just then where you want the player to get TP so in this case it's over here so you just copy this coordinate right here so you just copy that negative uh, 131 57 and this number and you don't really need to copy the decimals so you can see that there's 0.466 that you don't need it since you don't have to TP the player to a very exact position and all you want to do is to TP the player in the middle of this block so it looks nice right here and you can see we have an extra string right here so this facing is stating that this coordinate back here is where the player will face and by the way all of these comments will be in the pin comment and you guys can just copy the comment from the pin comment so continuing with this command so facing and right here we have a coordinate so that means this coordinate is where we will be looking at so you can see right there somewhere there looking at block and then there's the coordinate so this means that where you face the uh, so that means where you face the block and there is a selection thing around the block you can see there's the outline so that is what the coordinate of this block is so we just copy this right here so that will make the player to tp to this coordinate and facing this coordinate so up next we have the sounds so right here we went over a little bit overkill so we have three sounds that play at the same time so right here we have an ender dragon death sound so this is the sound of the ender dragon dying so it's one of the scary sounds that we have in minecraft and right here we also have the enderman death sound so a lot of <laughs> a lot of mob dying sound and right here we also have an ambient sound which will make the whole situation and the environment a bit more scarier so this is an ambient sound of the cave when you enter a cave sometimes there will be some ambient sound and that is the sound that will play so right here we have three sounds so and the dragon dying sound an enderman dying and also a cave ambient sound and right here is another fine touch to the jump scare so it is the slowness so we are using an effect uh, command so for the sound that to play we used the play sound command so right here we used uh, effect command and what it do is it gives the player slowness and you can see 
here we have the seconds so how long do you want the slowness to be applied and also how and also the level that you want to give so right here we went to the highest level which is 255 and this is also very important you need to put this extra string right here to true so you can actually just execute the command like this but it won't be as good as if you put a true right here so this true right here is stating that it hides the particles so the player won't see the particle in front of the player and also in their inventory so it's just to give the player that you're trying to scare have a better view of this jack-o-lantern and also what's good about this slowness is that you can notice that when we get jump scared our fov just suddenly became smaller and that is because when we get slowness our fov actually gets smaller which is an implemented visual effect to the slowness command so yeah and also this slowness command has one more uh, usage to it which is the player can walk around so when you have slowness 255 which is the highest level for all of these effects that you can give using commands so you can see that i tried to walk around and i just can't unless i jump so this command right here literally immobilize the player completely so the player can't move around but the player can jump around like this and not get slowed down since when you jump there is nothing uh, restraining you from uh, getting the slowness effect so whenever you jump you won't get affected by the slowness so that is the jump scare so to set this up, make sure make sure that you have this uh, command blocks right here to activate whenever uh, it is least expected so that the player that you are trying to uh, jump scare won't expect it and will actually get scared more. So let me just show you how you can wire this up to a redstone clock. Okay, so right here I'm building what's called an etho clock. So this is the etho clock and then a block of redstone on top. So this is a very high delay clock. So you can see, uh, let's see here. So maybe you can do it like this. Uh, yeah like that so it should work so you can see that the, de the delay is very <laughs> okay just now I got a little bit uh, that jump scare got me a little bit so very <laughs> I was trying to explain how this worked but I forgot that it connected to this system right here so again this is an etho clock and you can wire up the it so this is one of the ways to wire up the command blocks and I recommend you building this in the spawn chunks since in the spawn chunks the chunks are always loaded and it doesn't need a player to be present and the chunks will still be loaded if there are players in the server that is and yeah I just it's an easy way to build this uh, using redstone so you don't need to uh, 
manually power this line of comments right here and also this command block so maybe your friend is smart enough and he presses the tab like this and like this your friend can see if you you so pressing tab like this can make you see the whole server and who is online so right here it's just me on this world so yeah this is actually quite good if you can uh, make it very unexpected and it should work quite well so yeah that is gonna do it for today's video uh, hopefully get <sighs> so that is gonna do it for today's video if you guys <laughs> So that is gonna do it for today's video. Hopefully you guys can get your friends very well with this jump scare. Again, all of the comments will be in the pinned comment. So you guys can just go over there and just copy and paste the comments in the comment. So yeah, if you guys did enjoy, make sure to leave a like and also subscribe. I'm Froxy and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye! Thank you.